Welcome back to another Roblox Studio tutorial. In today's video, we're going to continue with remote events. And this time, we're going to take something that happens on the server side and send it to all the clients in the game. The example that we're going to do with this is creating a death alert so that whenever someone dies on the server side, it's going to send that information to all the clients. So whenever like player A dies, it'll say on everybody else's screen, player A has died. All right, so let's go ahead and take a look at this. Okay, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to have player one touch this part in the background here. And that's going to cause player one to die. And we should see the message that player one has died on the screen here. Okay, so let's take a look. All right, so let's go ahead and dive in and see how we can do this in Roblox Studio. Okay, so for this example, there's a couple of things we have to set up first. The first thing we're going to set up is a label that we're going to display the information to. To do that, we're going to go under the starter GUI. We're going to add a screen GUI, and then a text label, and then a local script. Inside of this text label here, you can customize the properties to make it look however you want to. It doesn't really matter what appears on the screen right now, because we're going to make that invisible when the game starts. Next, under replicated storage, we're going to add a remote event. Then we're going to be adding a part into the game. Inside of this part, we're going to write a quick little script. And this is a script that says whenever the player touches this part, it's going to set their health equal to zero, which will kill the player. After that, under the server script service, we're going to write a script. And this is the script that checks for the player's death. And then whenever it notices a player has died, then it sends that information to all the clients. So the way this works, it creates a variable for the replicated storage, for the player service, and also for the remote event. And then this is a function that has several different functions inside of it. And basically what this is doing is the first layer of it is checking to see that a player has joined the game. And then it checks that player's character. And then it's waiting on that character part to die. And when that character part dies, then what it's going to do is trigger this remote event that sends something to all the clients. And what we're sending is the player's name that died. Okay, so this is events that are happening on the server. On the server side, it's waiting for players to join and then waiting for them to die. And then whenever they die, it's going to trigger that remote event to send the player's name to all the clients. Now on the client side, we're going to be taking a look at the local script that's under the text label. What we're doing first here is creating a variable as a reference for this label. And then we're setting the label's visibility equal to false so that nothing appears on the screen when the players join. After that, we're creating variables for the replicated storage and also for the remote event. And then this function right here is going to run whenever it receives that event from the server side. And what this function is doing, it's first making the label visible so that we can see it. Next, it's going to be setting its text equal to the string version of the player's name. And then it's going to be combining that with the word died. After five seconds, it's going to make the label invisible again by changing its visibility equal to false. Okay, so just for a quick recap, what this program is doing is on the server side, it's checking for players to die. And then whenever a player dies, it's going to send that information to all the clients on the game. And the information that is being sent is the player's name here. What the client side is doing, it's displaying the name of the player that died. And this is happening for all the different clients. So like I said before, if one particular player dies, then all the other people in the game will receive the message that that player died. So we've covered three different ways to use remote events. We've covered how to go from the client side to the server side. We've covered how to go from the server side to a particular client. And in this video, we concluded by how to go from the server side to all the clients in the game. I hope you enjoyed this video and stay tuned for the next one.